Welcome back. President Abd Fattah Sisi met with visiting Pakistani Foreign Minister Sheikh Mahmoud Qureshi in Cairo on Wednesday, during which the two sides probed bilateral ties in addition to a number of issues of mutual concern. President Abdel Fattah Sisi hailed today the bilateral historical ties that bind Egypt and Pakistan and expressed Egypt's appreciation to Pakistan as one of the largest countries in the Islamic world. During the president's meeting with visiting Pakistani Foreign Minister Shah Mahmoud Qureshi in Cairo, the president said Egypt is looking forward to developing joint cooperation and exchanging expertise in different fields. He stressed the significance of enhancing coordination and consultations between the two countries over issues of mutual concern. Presidential spokesman Bassem Rodi said Qureshi delivered a message to President Assisi from his Pakistani counterpart Arif Alvi, who invited him to visit the country soon in light of the friendly ties that bind the two nations. Rodi said the message expressed Pakistan's keenness to expand cooperation horizons with Egypt during the coming period. In the message, Pakistani Premier hailed Egypt's successful and inspiring experience in all domains during the past years, and the great efforts are being exerted to achieve a comprehensive development. The meeting also reviewed the latest developments in the Middle East and the Islamic world, where the two sides agreed on pushing forward joint efforts to preserve regional peace and security. Earlier, it was attended by Foreign Minister Samah Shukri and met with a Pakistani top diplomat. Following the meeting, the two ministers held a joint press conference during which they spoke about several regional and international issues of mutual interest. Shukri praised Egypt's strong ties with Pakistan and expressed keenness on fostering bilateral relations in various domains during the coming period. On Libya, he stressed Egypt's constant supportive stance towards the Libyan people and asserted that Egypt would continue to support the country and exerting efforts with the aim of reaching a political settlement for Libya's crisis. For his part, Qureshi said that Egypt's stability is a main pillar and cornerstone for maintaining security and stability at the regional and Islamic levels. He also said that his country is looking forward to boosting trade relations and investments with Egypt. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation between the legislative and the executive authorities. His remarks came during a meeting with the heads of the Parliament's committees where he directed the governors to give more time for consultations with the Parliament members to discuss the problems of their constituencies. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister called on the MPs to boost the government in preparing an investment scheme for small and medium industries within the framework of the Decent Life Initiative. The Prime Minister headed on Wednesday the weekly cabinet meeting to discuss a number of important social and economic files. During the meeting, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli instructed to follow up efforts to face repercussions of the current bad weather conditions and how to deal with it. The ministers also reviewed ongoing national projects in various domains. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri reiterated that a delegation from a number of state institutions, including the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and several security bodies, was convoyed to Libya to discuss the possibility of the resumption of Egyptian diplomatic presence in Tripoli and the consular presence in Benghazi. Shukri pointed out that consultations with the Libyan Foreign Ministry and the new Libyan leadership, which took place during the delegation's visit, tackled security situation in both cities, Tripoli and Benghazi. Asked on the Libyan concern in a joint press conference with the Pakistani Foreign Minister, Shukri stressed Egypt's constant supportive stance towards the Libyan people and asserted that the country would continue supporting Libya and exert efforts with the aim of reaching a political settlement for Libya's crisis. The top diplomat also praised the Egyptian-Libyan unique ties and said that Egypt spares no efforts to achieve interests of both countries and will always continue involving the Libyan concern for the sake of its people.